the rise of the large cities and the urban industrial complexes that begin to emerge, we begin to attract large numbers of people to the cities. Extraordinarily large numbers of folks, black and white, begin to migrate north. And the African American population in particular experiences what comes to be called the Great Migration. The Great Migration. Six million people came to the northern United States, not from another country, but from the South, to escape persecution, to escape poverty, and to educate their children. They were African Americans who had no opportunities in the post-Reconstruction South. The African American migration from the South to the North really represents one of the greatest internal mass migrations in world history. The intense segregation, the fact that people literally couldn't even be comfortable walking downtown or shopping or even attending church in their home community. We look at issues like lynching, so people who did try to fight back within their community were literally killed for their efforts. And then later terrorist groups like the Ku Klux Klan, which is, after all, a terrorist group, help to keep people in their place. They leave at the rate of 500 a day and 15,000 a month. And so by the time the 1930 has come, one third of Alabama's black population is living north already. And that's just Alabama. It really is more, I'm seeking freedom, I'm seeking economic ability, I'm seeking a safety, very much like the refugees we see today that are talked about in Central Europe. Well, the spirituals played a very significant role during the Great Migration and, ironically, it was not a new role. They were songs of survival and songs that allowed them to endure the hardships of life and the injustices that they faced. The spiritual evolved literally into blues, it evolved into jazz. You can always go back and trace its lineage back, back to the spiritual. And the point that it evolves in a significant way happened as we came north uh, through the migration. The biggest pushback of the Great Migration came in the form of housing discrimination in the northern states. It was called redlining. Basically, it was a host of lending restrictions buried in both federal and local policies. Those policies stated who could own a home in certain parts of the city. From 1900 to 1945, African Americans were shut out of 87 newly built neighborhoods in Columbus. Oh, and the Irish, Italians, and Asians weren't welcome either.